And this, I, whew. I really like how Venaku's style has progressed over the last oh, year and a oh, half. Oh, and we years see the play. Neo LG. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, we do. We get, we get to see the Ice Beam. Yeah, Senaku's um, development, the, the way he's playing now, he ha he, he's made leaps in, in his play, Three, and it's it's, two, it's wonderful one, to see. Fight. Because you see him, he, how he's grinding and how he's preparing mentally, and how, it, how he's training, and you just know this means so much to him. And as you said um, earlier, an underdog story is always, it, it's always great, we're always here for it. And yeah, he is working himself up from being kind of an underdog to really being champion material. He and is, and that first see. frag with oh. the orb and the shotgun. Nice rail from CNZ to back him off here, but Zenaku should. Oh, the rail too! Phenomenal rail to hit as he um, makes his way over to the mega health here. CNZ will get the heavy, but he's going to be low. And Zenaku can trap him at a health armor one way or the other. And there he is! He's got to be careful here. CNZ so good on that railgun. And now Zenaku's got to concede the lower armor as well. CNZ has swiped up every armor on the map. Zenaku's got to play really carefully here. And that rail, excellent. Yeah, that rail gave, gave him the opening to um, get a chance to get uh, to grab the enemy. But they're still going to fight over it. And it's, whoa, it was super risky. And yeah, he paid with his life. But at least he denied CNZ from, from getting the heavy. And it, I mean, it works out relatively well. Um, CNZ suicides off his head. Oh, and he dies before the armor as well. Zenaku's gonna be able to stack back up and make it back up to this little armor shard here and get in a position for the heavy, but the rail again, CNZ. Zenaku's solo though. He, no armor at all now, thanks to the health bubble, at least 90 HP, but yeah, he needs to be super careful. He does, and he's gotta be cool. And yeah, doesn't even wanna stay around for that armor shard takes the mega health and makes his way back down the lower but he's in a vulnerable spot here as he waits for that armor to pop up and cnc does have the rocket so he's got to be careful of that spam plays it safe though i can respect that from cnz definitely not what i would call a greedy player no and not he at holds all. the high ground he, he's calculated he knows what to do he has to aim when he needs it and yeah he's he's not not an easy player to beat at all so yeah, we're, we're, I bet we're gonna see very even matches between those two, and it's gonna be super interesting. Yep, even item, even item swaps here. It looks like they have all the guns each player does. And Zenaku trying to find some kind of opening to where he can get into a more favorable position. And he should have it here through the port. Oh, but he hears the double jump. Good read. And the nice Robin jump up. I love this. Unfortunate he didn't do more damage there, but he still punishes him a little bit. Misses the rail. That's huge for CNZ. Yeah. And Zenaku will get the Mega, but he's got very little armor to work with. And CNZ recognizes the opportunity as he drops down here. Oh, and he goes for the punch. I don't know how I feel about that. He does swipe away the armor, but he doesn't really do that much damage here. That's an excellent rail to hit here. Zenaku's got to back away. He can't. Oh! Goes for the tricky jump. Almost makes it, but not quite. And phenomenal rock from CNZ. This is his opportunity. Yeah. And he sees them. I mean, he's low. 39 and 10. Gets the mega health at least. Small and he armor. should know. So yeah, he's, he's in, a, in a fighting stag, a fighting position again. Yep, and there he goes. Yep, he didn't know the item timings here, so he's got both of the lower items. So CNZ with a slight, very slight stack advantage here, as yeah. both players have full armor, but he's got a little bit more health to work with, and that miss from oh, Zenaku is going to be brutal. Yeah, he needed to hit the rail. So yeah, he had to stack. drop on him. Oh, but but <laughs> ZNZ um, didn't his it didn't hit his rail as well. So yeah, he's doing so well here though. Again. Not a greedy player here at all. He's only down one frag and he's more than willing to take the time to make sure he gets it clean. Playing the positional game, dropping on that mega health um, at an angle where it would be really hard for Zenaku to do damage. Um, and yeah. You gotta respect the play here. But the rails from Zenaku, that's two in a row. Oh, almost three! And he gets position on this heavy, but Zenaku has the orb as well, and he orbs right to the heavy! 
<laughs> gotta be careful here. Absolutely and again, amazing. Drops down safely, picks up the mega health. Seeing yes, Zed though, speed, those... speed, come on. And CNZ recognizes it, goes in and gets the tying frag. That's the thing about CNZ. He's, as you said, not a greedy player. He's very calculated. He's patient. And he's not someone who feeds, feeds you frags at the beginning of a match. He's, he's always 100% uh, focused. He is, but Zenaku did so well with the HMG and he orbs to the hell. Oh. Well done from CNZ. I did not think this would end this way. Wow. And yes, if CNZ already with a, with an okay stack again. And the rail off spawn. Yeah. Zenaku has yeah. so little to work with. He's not going to be able to stay for this oh. heavy suicide to go. You got to get out of here. Nice, okay. Stacks back up. He's gonna have the high ground. Be careful here. Oh, and the jump pad. Nice shot. Let's go. As Let's I said, go. even that we're 3-3, we're three, three, it's... <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, this is... Classic QC misses the orb! This and CNZ's really gonna amazing. get heavy for free. No spam damage. Oh, you know, go, 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 run! Ah! <laughs> You're at 32 HP. <laughs> Don't stick around. Yeah, wise play from Zenaku here. Playing. I love that rocket jump. Swipes away that upper armor. He is going to give up the mega health and he knows it, but he swapped it for positioning and a little bit of armor here. And now he's got the uh, advantage his position on the heavy, but he, the double jump comes through and Zenaku doesn't want to risk it. Um, look at that dancing from uh, oh. CMZ. He only had the right weapon out. Of oh, the rail! Mm -hmm. And again, oh gets God, this God. upper armor. So low, though. And CNZ picks up the Mega Elf. But Zenaku's got a bit of an armor. No, well, he had a bit of an armor oh, advantage. Oh, oh, oh. The double oh, rail with no. HMG as he falls, CNZ so low, and Zenoth who knows it, smells the blood, and CNZ can't take any damage here. He is so low. Yeah. But Zenoth who too slow on the drop, and CNZ gets to stack back up and get an armor. And he's got time before this mega health. CNZ has the exact time, a little bit short on that tri bolt. Shaves off the armor, but he's got most of the mega to work with, and we're gonna see a brawl here at this heavy. Zenaku's not gonna want to give it up. Yeah. No, he can. He cannot really afford to do that. Oh, what? No, he's not even. Not even. Okay. Not even a tickle of damage. Zenaku. No, I thought he was gonna. Yeah, I thought he was gonna try to fight for it, but he hits that one tick of shaft, and he's like, you know what? Not a fight I want to take. Backs off. Does pick himself up a rail so he can harass again, but he's down one frag, and eight minutes in. If he keeps a uh, stack disadvantage to CNZ, who's got the mobility over Ranger without that orb, yeah. this could be bad for him. He dogs around the corner here, but he, he orbs out of the heavy. Oh, but he's so low. CNZ's going to clean oh, it up. Yeah. He misses the rail and the spawn. Oh, he gets the spawn rail as well. This is so brutal. This is, this is, and this late in the game, this is a bad position to be in because CNZ's got the full cycle down. He knows which items are going to be up where. Zenaku took that lower armor right before he died, so CNZ doesn't have any armor to work with, but that rocket is excellent, and he's definitely going to push it. No, he's not, for whatever reason. Not enough time. I thought he was going to try to do more damage here, yeah. but I guess I that's my playstyle showing through here. I'm just, I want to fight, 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 and CNZ's like, nah, dude, we're not greedy here. We yeah, go yeah, for that's... W's, not frags. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I said. But I, I would have thought, no, he's gonna push as well. But yeah, there, there you, you have C and Z again, who's just been patient. I have, I have three frags. Why should I risk it? One minute and he gets out of that with what is that? Thirty-five health on the board still. And Zenaku's got full item lockdown, but there's only forty-five <laughs> seconds left. And C and Z, look at this play from him as he dodges around, yeah. just. Shutting down Zenaku's aggression here. Come and at least find him. Get him. Get this one frag. He's on 58 HP. Come on, Zenaku. You can do it. <laughs> and the oh, yeah, quiet. No, he, has no, he has no idea where he is. Oh, he's he going for the orb in the heavy. 
Oh my god, and he hits the ray on the on the orb. Oh my god. There it is, finally. But that was that's 30 seconds Zenak or CNZ made him waste before he could even get a frag, and he's got to get yeah. another two just to tie it. 15 yeah. seconds left. He's hunting mercilessly, but Zenak or CNZ playing yeah, the quiet just... game, and Zenak, who knows it, stops middle ground. GG's. Phenomenal game, though. That was awesome. Yeah. This was a, this was an amazing game. Oh yeah, I was like, why is it four to four? But yeah, because Zenaku left. <laughs> I was shocked for a moment. Yeah, four to six. No, amazing. But Zenaku, he can he can um, turn it around. Oh, absolutely. I don't I don't think this mentally is... this is going to affect Zenaku at all. Um, yeah. He's going to recognize the few mistakes that he made there. Um, you know, he gave somebody like CNZ the champion with the mobility advantage, and he patiently played you. Um, and just slowly worked his way back in. Um, even when CNZ got the lead and was, uh, you know, he had a couple frags advantage, he never got so aggressive that he gave anything up for free. Was really, really good about the items, really, really good about the positioning, and slowly made that out to pay for it. Didn't, didn't snowball him, but just took home that W, and that's what counts. And that late game, that nine minute dodging around at the teleporter while Zeneku was frantically trying to get that fourth frag was really well played as well. Fascinating to see as well. Yeah, strategy, so so much in this game. Oh, yeah. yeah, it uh, was an awesome play. And also right after he spawned, he just <laughs> took a few steps and uh, then got in the position that his uh, view was blocked and uh, yeah cool. yeah strong <laughs> understanding of the importance of silence as sure. well as speed yeah. in this game yeah like when he wants to get invisible he doesn't need a, a nix for that he just he, he he has so much um map awareness and opponent awareness a few it's, it's fascinating. Battles, I remember. True. absolutely uh, yeah and uh, this one is going to be uh, me and uh, Dave, so... Alright, well here we go then. And this is a very interesting matchup here. Um, I know that Zenaku's a big fan of the heavies. Um, a little bit surprised to see him not have the Sorlag, but... Um, being Zed with that stack advantage here, if he gets a lead, like, like we were saying earlier, man is not greedy at all. He will gladly take a one frag win here. Fight. And right out the gate, I'm on Zenaku who gets the Mega Health spawn. And they fairly even split here. Oh, but he's gonna push the heavy, has to flame strike. And that's Oh no! The spit before the 25 HP, Zenaku gotta be tilted after that. And this is gonna be it's gonna be a you got to be careful here. Um, CNZ's got pretty much starting stack as a heavy, and he's got the guns, and he gets that frag there too. A bit of an obvious push from Zenaku, and takes the upper armor. He's going to get another frag. We're up 3-0. We're not even a minute in. <laughs> and he elects to take the mega health, and he's going to make his way back over to the heavy. He gets both, and he has the guns to fight. Zenaku cannot be here. And he takes a rail. This is going to be another death if he sticks around. And 62 damage was good. He's pushed CNZ back even after he took all those items. They're going to be on fairly even stacks. You're actually dead even stacks. Oh, a 69 rocket! Excellent, excellent shot there from Zenaku. Yeah, he gets on the board. The Mega Alps a few seconds away. And uh, yeah, CNZ smells blood. And he gets it. Walks through the flames, but the Mega Alp is there. And he has the speed to do something about this uh, heavy pickup. This is out a lot of damage. Does not connect the rail though. And there is some peppering back into the face of the lizard lady from CNZ. Who just needs to escape right now. While yeah, Zenaku. Yeah. yeah, um, well, here we go. Alright, I had a thought that then that fight happened doesn't even matter. CNZ is going to be looking to try to get to that mega. He's oh, and the shaft off of spawn. He gets that mega health, three frags, the deficit, but he goes for the rocket instead of going right for the heavy, so they're gonna trade. It's gonna be almost identical. On um, the item picks up, except CNZ elects not to go for it right away. So there is a slight delay, and it works out in his favor. That tracking from Zenok, who wasn't quite on point there, and CNZ's gonna get the armor and the shaft. And four frag lead, two minutes in. 
Oh! Almost off the map, hits the pillar, and wow. the flame break saves his life. Beautiful. Yeah, that was a lizard stake served by some. No. But oh, yeah, he, he he doesn't get a foothold in the game like C and Z. He, yeah, also abusing the starter stack, right? He can just pressure out of uh, of the spawn with the stack he's carrying. He's doing phenomenal with it too. He has a really good understanding of where Zenaku's stack is at here, and Zenaku with a missed timing thought the heavy was going to be up, but CNZ had grabbed it before he went to Mega Help here. So CNZ with Perfect timing on both the heavy and the uh, mega help right now is in the driver's seat of this match here. He's gonna go down as Zenaku picks up a fourth frag, but he doesn't know timing. See, he's getting the railgun and CMZ is already on the heavy. A little bit of damage and tick from the dot, but he comes up to jump pad and he can abuse that starting stack. And he gets the mega health and Zenaku, even after getting that fourth frag, is out of control. As CMZ has all of the guns, hits that tri -bolt. Ow, ow, ow. That ow, hurts. indeed. And this is really, really nice play from CNZ right now. Okay, excellent damage from Zenaku. He should be able to earn himself a heavy here. But he doesn't. The sore lag speed comes into play as he picks up the heavy, gets the 25 HP, and is going to cycle right back over to the Mega Hell. Oh, but the direct, but he gets the Mega anyway! Oh, but what is Zenaku doing? He's just jumping onto the mega yeah. hell without being aware that he's on the map with an opponent it uh, seems like is, he's very predictable and he's, he's going for items in you know the obvious routes where you're gonna go off spawns a cnz hit an easy rail for him there and i don't know maybe a little bit of tilt from Zenaku, maybe just a bit of misunderstanding as far as how low cnz is but as i say that he does get his fifth frag on the board but no armor to work with. And CNZ spawns with that 75. He's going to get that other 50 shard at Shaft. And slowing down the pace of the game. Just hanging out in that banana. He's got a 5 frag lead. He'll wait for Zenaku to come to him now. He's lost control and he's perfectly okay with it. Slowly makes his way around to the railgun. And he's got that high ground. He can't go up that jump pad anymore. And gambling on these rails here, CNZ gets the Mega anyway and rocket jumps to T and doesn't have a railgun yet as far as I know. CNZ should be just rocking, yeah, the shaft and the rockets here. Doesn't even have any other guns other than that starting um, HMG. But Zeta who barrels in and gets a really nice rocket and hits the flame strike and gets the heavy as well. Oh. Lucky that uh, CNZ wasn't properly armed up there because if he had a rail as he fell after that shaft, that could have been a whole different fight. But he hits the rail, and now Zenaku has a good shot of control nice. here. And boom, excellent read makes his way over to shaft. Yeah, great momentum uh, shift in Zenaku's favor, but he still has to deal with the starting stack every time he gets a frag. So his frags need to be clean, and he needs to keep uh, CNZ at least away from the heavy yeah because... versus those heavy champions you got to do more damage and he's only up by 200 compared to scenes as like 33s and it comes at about 35 3500 yeah and the speed uh Zenus or uh, cnz uh, can work with is, is also not in the favor of Zenaku. he uh, does a rocket jump connects a rocket also has uh, the flame strike grabbing but uh doesn't need to use it. But his his timing is again off. He's on the mega health while the heavy just spawns. So that's a major lifeline for C and Z. And that means that Zenaku has to do a lot of work again to get the next yeah. frag. And then C and Z was able to use that heavy positioning and immediately make his way back over to the shaft. So he is gunned up. He has every single gun in the game now. And he's pushing in, wants to abuse that stack. And Zenaku's got to be so careful, and the patient shot from CNZ wins out. And another one off spawn here, he's got to be careful of the port play, he is low, but he gets the heavy. And Zenaku, they trade for the, uh, for the mega health for the heavy, and Zenaku's going to get himself a rail here. Nice tribal fan, good read on knowing that CNZ probably going to go for that angle. But yeah, the other way is also true. Uh, C and Z oh. <laughs> knew that Zenaku was uh, gonna give up that angle and uh, he hits a rail. Oh, 
little good read. Just waiting for him. But th that's the thing with these these very positionally minded players. Um, when they have a fast champion, they're so good at getting away from you, but still in an angle where they can hurt you. And Zenaku paid the price for that as he went for the heavy. He's gonna get the uh, mega health, but neither player has any armor. Zenaku doesn't care though, he's gonna push. And yeah, Sienza has got to bail. He knows he's in risky territory staying there. Yeah, but it's uh, Zenaku who needs to press the issue. I think he really needs to uh, stop Sienza from taking this uh, heavy. Oh, what, well, yeah, he gets the heavy, but also greeted by a rocket. Okay, trouble though. It's going to push him off the mega health. And now Zena, this is his moment. He's got two minutes left, yeah. only a four frag deficit, and he's got both of the items and their time. He can rotate the map properly. He's just got to make sure that he doesn't take unnecessary damage. And that was an excellent rail. Even though C and Z hit one back, not really the biggest deal because Zenaku has much more stack than him. Yes, I'm giving Zenaku some screen time. He needs to get back uh, in this map and uh, has 90 seconds to do so. He's rocking the control. Stopwatch. But it's seen Z who is able to, uh, yeah, not give any damage away for free. Absolutely. Study at the base school of Quake as he just dodges around the map and eats up the little items. Nice rocket jump from Zenoxu, though. Excellent read. He's got a minute, three frags. Can he get it done versus a heavy champion? Stop watch. Oh, good read here, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't get any shaft damage off, but Mega Health is going to spawn and he should pick it up. Railgun eliminates most of his armor. Zenoxu's, he's going to be hunting here. 55 seconds. Nice shaft damage. He will get a frag here. Fairly clean one, too. Got a little bit of armor to work with. Can't quite uh, be bullied right away by CNZ, who does get the other armor as well, though. So he's sitting at 125. And the missed rail there is going to be critical. And he rocket jumps so predictable. And CNZ is going to make him pay with the shotgun. Yeah. Nice, nice positioning from uh, CNZ. Just baiting him out. And, uh... Eden, that was phenomenal series, though. That went really, really close. But um, I think as far as Awoken goes, Zenaku, the early part of that game, he was down three frags within the first 40 seconds of the game. And that just cut him out so much work. It's what he eventually lost with um, by three frags. And CNZ continues on to the winner bracket semifinals. We, what else do we have going on? What other games have finished? Cypher. It'll be Cypher CNZ in the lower winner bracket.